Our first stop on this trip was Rosie's Bakery located on Milford Road. And here you could get lots of fresh pastries, local breakfasts, and all kind of nice food. Definitely worth a check out when you're in Tobago. Next stop is Sherland's Adventure Park and Hiking Trails. People don't really know this, but you can actually call in advance and have a meal while watching hummingbirds and taking in this amazing view. The food normally consists of local Creole food, but cooked with a certain flair and taste that you can only find in Tobago. This spot is located on the main ridge that cuts through the middle of Tobago, which is a protected reserve. Truly beautiful and a fantastic experience. I highly recommend it. spot we visited is Cafe El Fresco, located near Scarborough, Tobago. Close to the port, you could come here for a bit more of a fine dining experience with some real high quality food. On this trip, we tasted some cassava and eggplant lasagna, as well as chicken balls, pasta with beef, and a delicious chicken schnitzel with mushroom sauce. Highly recommended. Check them out if you want a more fine dining experience. Next stop is Cafe Donglo located in Buku. Now here is a good place to come and lounge, have a nice cocktail or drink, even get a fancy cigar, but they also have some decent food. We ended up enjoying the mushroom bruschetta, some lovely grilled octopus, and some delicious shrimp. Really a good place to come and vibe, a nice different experience for Tobago, and a great spot to come and chill with some friends, your loved one, definitely an adult scene here but a real good vibe all around. Check them out.
Next on the list is Dreamsicle Cafe Tobago. Now this spot is really awesome for breakfast, lunch, and a really great cup of coffee. A truly beautiful and colorful design with fantastic attention to detail and food. I really recommend checking out this place. They're located on Shirvan Road on your way to Buku Junction. Hit them up, check them out, have a great cup of coffee, some good vibes with friends, and appreciate the artistic touch to everything around you. Next up on our list is Sure Things Cafe, located in Lambo, Tobago, near Scarborough. Now this place is special as there's two things going on here. You can get delicious food, lunches, dinners, as well as there's a local homemade chocolate factory on site using Trinidad Trinitario beans, making some really high quality dark chocolates. You can even book a tour in this chocolate place or simply come here to enjoy the spectacular lunch. So it's a two-faced kind of situation going on here. Both of the experiences are truly fantastic and a highly recommended situation when you're in Tobago. Go check them out, visit these lovely people, get yourself some fantastic chocolates and a great lunch. You will not be disappointed. Fishpot restaurant in Tobago located near Grafton Beach is a true culinary experience. Every day they serve fresh fish caught locally in the area. In fact, they don't even serve chicken as to emphasize on keeping fresh product in with nothing going to waste. They have delicious rum punch and fantastic desserts as well. I highly recommend you check them out for great ambience as well as just top notch delicious food. Hit them up next time you're in Tobago. French fruit juice and smoothie bar is a must visit whenever I'm in Tobago. They use the freshest ingredients, no added sugars and just have a truly delicious selection to choose from. 
They're located in Buku. Hit them up whenever you're here when you're looking for a change or a fresh experience to ease your stomach from the hot day at the beach or eating too much other fancy foods. They keep it simple, healthy and delicious. Check them out. Last stop on this Tobago trip is the beautiful Seahorse restaurant. Now here you can expect some top quality service, lots of beautiful decor and some really delicious food. We ended up having a lovely squid appetizer as well as some scallops, lamb and steak and I can tell you this that it was truly delicious. It also has a wide selection of alcohol at the bar and a very talented group of bartenders and servers so you won't be disappointed when you come here for your visit also the views are spectacular and you can even be seated upstairs like we chose to be that's it for my food tour of tobago guys i hope you truly enjoyed i will be back again to cover even more places in the future but check out these places on your next trip let me know what you think in the comments and yeah have a blessed week everybody see you again in the future thank you